Welcome back to the third edition of Three Easy Extreme Demons. Last time, we covered poop, trash, and ass, but this time we actually have a pretty solid set of levels. So sit back, relax, grab your Sayo device, because it is time for you to get better at the game. Alright, and the first extreme we're going to be playing today is Stella Luna by Sam Max. I don't have much to say about this level. I didn't really have a good experience with it from Zero, and quite frankly, it wasn't that fun. Stella Luna has a pretty difficult beginning section, which is carried by a lot of strange and pretty awkward timings. But once you learn them, this part gets kind of consistent. Not really, but it gets kind of consistent. Um, this robot part that's coming up is ridiculously hard, especially like these clicks right here. And these two clicks right here are so fucking evil. Like, oh my god. Alright, now coming up is the first drop wave. I don't like the transition in because you have to actually click right here. These wave corridors aren't as bad as they seem. Just because there's spikes on the walls doesn't mean much. They actually have hitboxes, but the spikes on the walls don't add too much difficulty to this. They can get annoying sometimes, but play this wave as if they weren't there. This mini wave isn't horrible, but this dual wave right here is pretty bad. What I did is I released right here, went up, went down, and then did these three clicks. I found that to be the most consistent route. This ship part isn't horrible, but this, po this, sh this part of the ship right here does get incredibly annoying from zero. This UFO has a very jank click pattern, but you don't die here that much. And then a pretty simple ball part followed by a pretty simple spider part. Uh, the middle part of this level is definitely not the hardest. But this wave section right here that's coming up is ridiculous. And honestly, the choke point of the level. This wave right here is pretty difficult. Because the spikes do get in the way a lot in this part. This dual wave right here is very high CPS for no reason. But, other, but besides that, you get to the post drop. The post drop isn't uh terrible this click right here is like the last chokeable click in my opinion it's still not that bad yeah this green orb is insane then you have pretty easy timings afterwards these three pink orbs right here are pretty annoying but they're not <coughs> these three pink orbs right here are pretty annoying but they're still not that bad and then these last few clicks aren't that bad this green orb you can probably die here but it's such a lenient timing you shouldn't die there all right so that is the end of stella luna Honestly, it's a pretty interesting extreme demon that I wouldn't beat for like a first extreme or a new hardest. I would beat this if you're in the skill range to do this level comfortably. If you spend more than like 4,000 attempts, if, if you think you're going to spend more than 4,000 attempts on this level, I wouldn't go for it because the experience will probably be really bad. But yeah, Stella Luna is a mid level. But yeah, there's not much else for me to say. Oh, finally, dude, that took too long. Holy shit, finally. I just Look. beat the weekly demon. Let's go. Oh. And our second level today is Fish Fish God Mode by Who Is Kev. Uh, this level's pretty good. I think it's really funny. I'm not saying I beat this because it's funny. It's also really fun. But this is just a pretty good level in general. I'm going to be honest, this level's very, um, not gimmicky, but it has very awkward gameplay. 
I think it's really fun to actually learn this level. There are some pretty weird parts in this level though that I personally don't like. But most of it's just reliant on if you can have the correct muscle memory for it. This wave part seems pretty easy when you look at it. But it's actually pretty hard. There's a lot of just awkward timing. Especially since some of the structures move like right here. It's kind of weird. And also like the 3D lines in this uh, wave part make it look a lot harder than it actually is. So if you get used to that, then you should be able to pass this wave part no problem. Right here you have the spider part, which is like one of the hardest parts in the level. Um, it's just really learning. So when you do learn it, it does become really easy. These clicks right here, uh, these green orbs, they can get pretty annoying from zero. They look really easy, but sometimes you fuck up a lot. This is the most annoying click in the level right here, this blue orb. I hate it. I learned if you do this first jump pretty late, you can time it a lot better sometimes, but... It really just depends on your play style. And then right here, these parts are pretty difficult, but you can learn these timings really easily and get used to them. All right, here comes the hardest part of the level, in my opinion, just because of how awkward it is. Some of these timings are just incredibly chokeable. And this, these ship sections in this part are ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous. They're still fairly easy and doable. You do choke them from zero. Don't expect to like leak this level like at all, unless you're like good at the game like really good at the game but yeah some of these timings are very chokeable but yeah it's pretty straightforward from this moment it's just a bunch of timings yeah this ending is basically just a test for timings and nerves and i don't know how the fuck i did that this last timing is pretty bad i don't like this last timing but yeah that's fish fish god mode this level's pretty good i really enjoy it and its style and the gameplay is really fun. It's awkward in a good way, and it's learning enough to make it really fun. The complaints I do have about this level, though, is that it's very choke point click dependent, which I don't mind choke points, but there are specific clicks that are considered choke points in this level, which I do not like. But yeah, it's a really good and solid level overall. <laughs>
Like, in practice mode, it feels like some of these transitions into these parts never get consistent, but they really do. Like, this level gets surprisingly consistent. You you don't think it would. This part right here is inconsistent for me, but once you learn it, you get past it almost every attempt, so... It's not terrible. This ball part is really chokeable from zero. I kind of don't like it. Right here, uh, there's specific parts in this level where you'll realize this, but it doesn't always sync completely to the music, and these two inputs you actually have to buffer, and then you do this duel which isn't too hard. This robot timing right here killed me a lot from zero. This red orb, I don't know why. And then you have a black orb spam, which isn't bad. This last shit part is so chokeable. I think since I rebeat it twice for the coins, and you'll see why I rebeat it, I died here a lot from zero. <laughs> like I'll, an unreasonable amount of times. And then those are the three coins. That was zoom. This is a really good level. Like awesome me cooked with this one. I have not much to say about it. It's incredible. I love the way it looks. I love the way it plays. It plays so good. It feels so satisfying to play. And it's never buggy. This level is very good and very consistent. Uh, I don't have much else to say about it. Let's go! Holy shit! Yes! Fuck! Let's go! Yes! <sighs> Jesus! Oh, I rebeat Zoom. Let's go. <laughs> New hardest! Ugh. Uh. Oh, I finished Zoom. Let's go. What the fuck? That was right away. <laughs> this completion is dedicated to Eshulo, the third one. The third one is dedicated to Eshulo. Easy.